Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I'm an artist here at the Magic of Disney Animation at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Here at the Animation Academy, we teach guests how to draw dozens of different characters on a daily basis. Halloween is coming up quickly, so I'm going to teach you how to draw Jack Skellington the Pumpkin King from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Alright, so we're going to start, of course, with a circle. And, of course, we want to warm up our shoulder because the best way to draw a circle is to use your whole arm. So we're going to loosen up our shoulder, get that shoulder in rotation. It's the only way you can draw a perfect circle can do it any other way. Now with your elbow or your wrist, guys, your whole arm to that shoulder in rotation. So we're going to go down just a couple of inches from the top of the paper. And we're going to draw a circle about the size of a grapefruit or softball. And you just want to start it out really, really light, get that arm in rotation. Make sure you have lots of space at the bottom so you can add the, uh, the neck and the bow tie. And just get a good circle in there. Our guidelines are there to tell us where we put the pieces of the character. Like eyes, nose, mouth, etc, etc, etc. And we need to know where the center of his head is. So his head is going to be turned just slightly to the left. Just slightly to the left. So I'm going to do a slightly curved guideline starting at the top and curving out the bottom. We're going to go about halfway down the circle on the left. We'll draw a horizontal guideline, which is going to dip down just a little bit and curve up the halfway on the right. Now, Jack's head is a skull, and so he has these big gaping eye sockets that are shaped like eggs. And the eggs, of course, are wider at the bottom than they are at the top. So we're going to place one big eye socket leaning against this horizontal guideline. It's going to be leaning in towards the center guideline. It's not going to touch anything but that horizontal guideline that it's sitting on. Because his head is turned away from us to the left, that means that everything on the left side of the guideline is going to be a little bit smaller. It's just perspective. Things in the foreground are larger than things in the background, which appear smaller. So there, his other eye is just a little bit smaller. It's going to be sitting on the horizontal guideline, leaning in towards the center. Not touching anything but that guideline that it's sitting on. Then we get his nostrils. His nostrils are shaped like little sesame seeds. They're on either side of the center guideline on that horizontal guideline, we're just getting a little sesame seed shape. Yeah. And then for the mouth, we just go over to the right, just above the guideline on the side of the circle. I'm going to follow the curve of the circle, staying just inside the circle. Once I get towards the center, I'm going to wave up a little bit, and wave back down, and wave back up again, running into the guideline on the left. All right, now we can just hop right in, and we'll darken our circle. And you can get the eyes and the nostrils and the mouth as well. You just don't want to touch those guidelines. Just darken those lines. Of course, the nightmare came out back in 1993. And it was uh, produced and created by Tim Burton. Well, he did not direct it. And he created a lot of those characters when he was just a little boy. In fact, Jack here, um, if you're a fan of Tim Burton, you've probably seen pictures of him uh, as a little boy dressed as Jack Skellington for Halloween long, long before he would actually bring him to the big screen. So we're going to go across the mouth now with some lines just for uh, basically for his teeth. And they can be uh, long or short, angle different directions if you want. We're just going to go all the way across. And add a couple little curves below each eye. And then you can fill in those nostrils. And of course, turn your pump to the side, use it like a paintbrush, and shade in the eye sockets. The faster you shave the side of your pencil, the more even your surface. You want to avoid using the tip of the pencil, that's just going to take you forever. Generally, it looks uh, not too good when you're using the tip of the pencil. All right, so that leaves us with a creepy floating head, which actually works for Jack Skellington, since he likes to take his head off and recite Shakespearean quotations, as the song goes. Uh, but we're not going to leave him like that. We're actually going to go in and give him his neck and, uh, and his bow tie. And so his uh, neck basically looks like a golf tee, so it's like a golf ball sitting on a golf tee. Uh, down here in Florida, we know all about that. Uh, so on the left and the right side of the guideline, I'm going to draw a little curve going off to the left here. And a curve going off to the right. He's got a long, skinny neck. 
I'm just going from white to dark with that. And we can put a little bit of shading up there at the top of the neck. He's a uh, three-dimensional stop-motion animated character, meaning that rather than being drawn or created on a computer, he was actually hand-sculpted and moved increment by increment um, across a stage, a hand-built stage, to make a complete stop-motion film. Jack uh, actually had over 100 different heads with all different facial expressions. They'd be switched out um, every single frame, about 24 frames a second, around 130,000 frames to make the complete animated film, and that's somebody actually posing uh, Jack and switching heads off, taking a picture, put the next head on, take a picture, take the head off, put the next head on, take a picture. It's a lot of work. While they're doing that, they get to move all the other characters around and make sure that their mouths are syncing up with Jack's and so on. All right, so we get the uh, bow tie, which is a bat. It's a living, breathing bat. It can fly off and then fly back on again. And so we start a little curve at the base of the neck, at the top of the bat head, which is the knot of the bow tie. And we draw two little points, which curve down to connect to create the bat head. And go from white to dark with that. Once you're happy with it, darken. And we draw two little shapes for the eyes that look a lot like Jack's nostrils. From the top of the bat head, we're going to start with the wings. I'm going to draw a curve going out, which is going just a little bit past the side of the head. So not too big. The same thing off the other side. You want to make sure they're the same width. You don't want to give the bat one giant wing and one teeny tiny wing. That's really hard to fly. Then across from the points of the eyes, we draw a short curve here and a short curve there. Once again, same width on both sides. And then we're just going to make the motion of a three or an E. And we're going to come to a point at the top. We're going to curve in and out, in and out. Just make three little points. Do that on both sides to create that bow tie. Go ahead and darken the lines for the bat wings. Throw just three little lines off next to the bat head. And then shade in your bat. Just doing a rough sketch so you don't really need to worry too much about staying in your lines. And there you have it. Last but not least, sign your drawing. I want to make sure everybody knows whose masterpiece this is. All right, there you guys have it. A very quick lesson on how to draw the one, the only Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. Be sure to check him out at the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party over at the Magic Kingdom Park. And if you'd like to learn how to draw Jack in person or one of dozens of other different Disney characters, come visit us here at the Magic of Disney Animation at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Happy Halloween, everybody.